Okay, hello everyone. My name is Alyssa, and welcome back to this glorious channel. How are you all on this fine evening? Um, so, today I'm going to go back a bit, and I'm going to talk about languages. Because you guys may know... If you've watched my other videos, or at least my About Me video, I think that's where I say something about it. Um, I'm currently learning three languages. I'm learning Mandarin, Korean, and yeah, French. <laughs> um, okay. So now today, so last time's focus was a bit more on tips language tips but this time i wanted to talk about apps that i like the, to use um so yeah um so first things first obviously texting apps so for korean you've got kakao talk for mandarin you've got weishin for French, um, I use Hello Talk for all three. In all honesty, all three is Hello Talk is great. I love it. Those are can be some weird people or interesting people on there. Um, I happen to just really enjoy it. I don't know. Yeah. So the next app that I recommend is not for Mandarin or Korean. It is specifically for French because I did not I used it for the other two but I did not like it as much as I do for French which is Duolingo. Um, third app that I think is good, I use it for all three languages, um, is Memrise. So this is more like of a vocabulary app, and it's less focused on grammar. It's more just learning vocabulary, memorizing vocabulary, stuff like that. Um... I'm sure you guys know there's a lot of those out there, but I personally enjoy this because it gives you an array of like words and stuff and then it's like, oh, well this actually means this, so this is this, or blah, 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 blah. You get the point. Um, number four is dictionary apps so like is it neighbor or naver i'm never sure how to pronounce it is it neighbor or naver i don't know someone tell me in the comments below um and pleco i haven't found anything like this for french still um maybe someone can recommend something like it for to me something like that to me down below in the comments please and thank you um yeah dictionary apps are always good um i mainly use dic i don't use dictionary apps for any other purpose than like finding a specific word or when i'm saying something like now i am going to the store if I don't know the word for store, I can look it up in the dictionary and then go, oh, okay, is this. Um, and number five is drops. I only use this for Korean. I don't know how it is for any other language. I like it for Korean. I think it is good, decent. I don't, I haven't really used it 
for anything else, so I don't know how it is overall. But for Korean, it's okay. To, in my opinion, um, yeah. Also, another note about Duolingo is I think Duolingo is probably better for mainly romance languages. So anything like Italian, I think it would be good for uh, Spanish too. Like I said, I use it for French. Um, I mean, I think it's good for languages like that. I haven't really used it for anything other than those. I used it for Korean and Mandarin a bit. But I did, was not that fond of it for those. But, yeah. That's about it for this video. Um, if you like my face, please be sure to subscribe. Um... If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and recommend me apps down below that you guys want to see me like rate or check out. I think that could be a fun idea, like checking out an app, a language app for like a week, being like, oh. <laughs> um. But yeah, if there's any apps you guys want me to review, let me know in the comments. Um, it, also, another thing, if you, if when I upload, is that important to any of you? Uh, hit the notification bell. It's somewhere. I don't know where exactly it is. It's probably up by the bullet club sign up there. But, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.